Hi everyone, it's Mari. I'm back again today for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating the project that you see on your screen today. I'm going to be using the coffee cup gift card holder dies. And those are the dies that I'm just moving off of my desk there. I've already used those to cut out all of the different pieces that I need to create my card, including this white base and some patterned paper pieces that I'm going to be covering that white base with. And there you can just see that is sort of like the belly band or the piece that holds the card together. I'm showing you some paper pads, including the Fresh Brood and the Playful Pastel paper pads uh, from Honey Bee Stamps. You can see those are well loved. I've used them lots and I'm going to be using some of those papers here today. So that paper with the chevron stripe on it there that I'm just going to get some glue on here to start off with, that is from the Playful Pastel paper pad. And I really love how this color of blue coordinates nicely with the browns and the um, uh, craft cardstock that I'm going to be using on my card today. So I uh, just really love that how those colors coordinate. Now I've got that one piece of pattern paper now glued down to the base of my gift card holder cup. And I'm going to now put that uh, top of the cup on and that's some wood grain uh, pattern paper from the Fresh Brood paper pad. I'm going to take another one of those chevron stripes and attach that or glue that to the back of my gift card holder here. And then again, take another one of those wood grain pieces that I die cut with that die with the dies from the coffee cup gift card holder die set and get that glued down to the top as well. So now you can see how easily this comes together, like literally this cup uh, card gift card holder took me I don't know probably maybe 15 minutes in total to make it came together super super fast so if you do need a gift card holder this one is really really simple to put together I really love these dies they're super easy to use now I am going to keep this um, this piece here stuck together with a piece of double-sided adhesive that I just put on that flap and now I'm going to be using the coffee shop house builder add on stamps to create the little embellishment for the front of my band for my coffee cup. So I'm going to stamp out this image on some craft cardstock with some uh, pigment ink. I'm using some black pigment ink here. This is just some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm going to make sure that I treat my craft cardstock here with my anti-static powder tool first because I do want to do some heat embossing. I want to make sure that my embossing powder only sticks to the ink and not the paper. So you're going to just see me ink up that stamp and swing my misty door over here to stamp the image onto my craft paper. And then I will take that paper over to my clear embossing powder. I'll ap apply the clear embossing powder onto that inked up area and then I will take my heat tool and melt that and that's going to create a really nice raised uh, image here as an embellishment for the front of that band for my coffee cup. I'm going to cut that out with a coordinating die from the Coffee Shop House Builder add-on die set and I will pop that up on a little bit of foam adhesive and put that on my paper cup holder piece that's going to go around my card to hold my card together. It's kind of like a belly band on the cup and I really like how this works. I'm going to just show you how easily that slides on there. I wanted to add a little bit of washi tape on the back of my cup and I am going to do that. You'll see me do that here in a minute and that's going to finish up my project today. I had so much fun creating this. Such a fun die set. Make sure you check out the links in the description box below to all of the products that I used from the Honeybee Shop. Have an amazing day everyone. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.